Hi, I'm with Ken Pollock of Blackjack Vineyards today. Uh, Ken, we'd like to hear a little bit about the story of Blackjack. Now, I have a bottle here, and I see you've got black and red, which kind of brings to mind green felt tables, fast-moving hands, and a, a few chips going the wrong way. But this isn't really about casinos, is it? No, it could be, but it's not. It's about a sailor. Blackjack was a sailor, and he was a bit of a wild sailor because he jumped ship in the 1850s looking for gold in Harcourt, which is just the, um, in, in uh, central Victoria. And while he was there, he became a, a, no, a not, notoriety and, and basically he used to uh, get up to all types of mischief. And the road that bears his name is just near our vineyard, so Blackjack was his name. Now, so, now I can't help as, a, as an American girl to bring up the idea that maybe that wasn't an Australian sailor? No, West Indian. Oh, so, yeah, so oh, he would he have American. been a coloured man, yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, maybe maybe running, going the other direction. He was running in the other direction, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, um, tell me about Bendigo, because uh, that's a, a region that people are a little less familiar with. Yes, Bendigo has been making wine since the 1850s, and we uh, have been making wines in more recent times that um, are, are generally red wines. Shiraz and Cabernet are the specialties of Bendigo. Okay, and um, you've gotten, uh, I think, four, you're one of four wineries in Bendigo that got a five-star rating from, from Halliday. What, what makes your wine so special? It's, it's individually made, I guess. It's made on the vineyard. It's from the terroir, it's from the place, and it's about a wine that uh, reflects that. And I think in reference to, you know, other wines, it's quite spicy and fresh. Now, in, speaking of freshness, you've decided to put all your wines in screw cap, even your red wines. Yes. What were the challenges in putting your wine into screw cap? For us, no challenge at all. It was very simple to do, we, um, and in fact, the corks were giving us problems. They're, they're so inconsistent. And the freshness comes from the screw cap, and they're always perfect. And how did the market respond to the screw cap? I have Is only. There any no, like none at all. There's only ever been one person in five years that hasn't been happy with screw caps. And uh, I was very surprised because red wines traditionally are not cork, but there's a great trend towards screw caps. Towards screw caps. Well, you seem to be getting good reviews for those wines with screw yes. caps, but one of the reviews puzzled me. Mm -hmm. It was about your Block 6. And the reviewer said it was stonking. Stonking. Could you explain that term to me? Stonking just means fantastic, I think. <laughs> oh, no. I hope so. <laughs> yes, I'm not sure what he meant by stonking, but I'm sure it's a, a positive. <laughs> now, when you're not making wine, what do you do with your time? How do you spend your time? I spend my time, um, I do a, a little bit of uh, canoeing and um, uh, swimming. So that's basically what I do. Breaststroke, backstroke? Uh, beach. A beach. beach. <laughs> that's not swimming, that's sunbathing. Oh no, swimming. And, and while you're on that beach, what water are you drinking? Uh, a Cooper's beer. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, let's hope it's a blackjack. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Thank Ken. you.